What's up, horror fans? Welcome back to the channel, where sometimes we're going to combine some fear with a little fun, and then we sometimes toss in some cotton candy guns. Today, I'm diving into a game that has no business being, honestly, this good. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game. Yes, you heard that right. I said this game's good. They made a game out of that movie, and somehow, it works. Now, if you're familiar with the original 1988 film, you know it's equal parts creepy and honestly absurd, but in the best possible way. A movie with murders, clowns, terrors, and a small town using circus-themed weapons? Pure genius, I know. Ilphonic said, you know what this needs? A multiplayer game. And here we are. And let me tell you, nothing says pure terror like being hunted down by a clown throwing pies at you. Yes, this is a thing, and it's glorious. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the real heroes here. Elvira and Tom Savini. The legends themselves, Elphonic was like, hey, let's make this even more awesome by throwing in two icons from horror. This has me excited about future possibilities. I mean, we're talking potential cameos from famous final girls or maybe some horror legends. I don't know. You could imagine a Laurie Strode or a Nancy Thompson stepping into the chaos. I'd be in for it. The more horror icons, honestly, the better. And here's where things get really clever. In most games, when you die, it's kind of snack time. Grab your chips, scroll through your phone, Maybe contemplate your life choices. I don't know. No judgment. But not in Killer Clowns. No, here you get to play mini games while you're dead. That's right, you're still contributing even in the afterlife. I like to think of it as a metaphor for resilience. You may be down, but you're not out. Plus, it keeps you engaged, in which honestly, a masterstroke of game design. And if you win the mini games and do pretty good at it, you might come back to life with a little extra something to help you turn the tide. Or you can gift your prizes to teammates that you're having to spectate. It's like a horror-themed Secret Santa, but with way more blood. Okay, all joking aside, let's be real for a second. Yes, the game has a lot of balancing issues. Sometimes it feels like the killer clowns are a little too much, and then sometimes it feels like you can't even find a human in the entire map. But let's face it. When is an asymmetrical game ever launched perfectly balanced? <coughs> Dead by daylight. It's part of the charm. The trick is to keep tweaking things until both sides feel like they've got a fair shot. Rome wasn't built in a day. Neither are Killer Clown games, apparently. That being said, Killer Clown nails its vibe. It doesn't take itself too seriously, but it manages to deliver both laughs and genuine tension. One moment you're running for your life, and next you're trapped in a balloon animal dog chase. It's kind of absurd, it's hilarious, and it's the kind of game where even losing can be fun. And honestly, it's kind of a rare thing. I mean, you have to give props to Ilfonet for taking on the challenge of creating a game based on a cult classic like Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It's admirable, especially when you know your fan base for this 1988 gem isn't going to be the size of something like Dead by Daylight. I think it's what makes this game stand out. It's not trying to be dead by daylight, and that's a good thing. At its core though, the game isn't just about surviving, it's about fun. Whether you're a fan of the cult classic film or just looking for a fresh take on an asymmetrical horror genre, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game, delivers a unique experience. It is chaotic, it's colorful, and honestly, it's a blast. It's not here to replace Dead by Daylight, it's here to be its own weird and wonderful thing. The game's longevity might be in question, after all it's based on a film with a smaller though passionate fan base. but the developers clearly have a love for the source material and that shines through. If they continue to add fresh content, characters, and perhaps even more iconic horror cameos, this could very well have staying power. So is Killer Clowns from Outer Space the game the next big thing in horror gaming? Probably not, but it's something special in its own right. It's fun, it's quirky, and at the end of the day, that's what really matters. If you haven't given a shot, what are you waiting for? Go get pied by a clown already. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss more horror game content. Let me know in the comments. What do you think of Killer Clowns? And which horror icons would you love to see join the madness next? See you in the next one.